So we talked a little bit about this already. You know, there's so much information out everywhere in regards to living healthy. Um, it's, well, for me at least, when I'm starting to look a little bit on, on certain things, it's so difficult to know exactly, you know, what information is right, what, what do I need to believe now, and, and what actually works for me, because we all, in the end, we're all individuals. And um, so is there a way to tell in, in a little bit in general, you know, what, what should someone focus on when they're like, okay, yeah, I really need, you know, it's enough. My belly, my health, it's enough. I need to really come around. I need to start doing something. So what are maybe the first steps? So what is that somebody should really take a look at to, to, to start implementing first changes? Okay, so first I'm gonna address the first part uh, where you were talking about all the conflicting information. Uh, there is, but a lot of those people are, they're, they're just, it's beliefs. They're not really telling the truth, but we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing more and more people who, just, who are just trying to help people learn uh, the truth. Uh, and that's what I do on my podcast, and there's another, a lot of other really good ones as well, but um, definitely recommend tuning into my podcast because I, I talk about both sides of everything. Uh, when it comes to like the first things you can do, uh, if you're not moving, you got to get moving. Uh, that's one of the first things you can do. If you're currently not sleeping, well, you got to get that. You got to have to get the sleep uh, just b dialed in. Because if you try to start exercising a lot and changing your diet and you're not sleeping and you're just going to burn yourself out, and it might help you sleep. Uh, it might like improve your sleep, but sleep is just a very important one that you need to work on early on if it's very bad now if you're just you know you say you're getting like six hours or something that's okay but if you're only getting a few hours of sleep that needs to be something to out in because I, I work with people who are in that boat and that's the first thing we have to go with um so it depends on the individual even from that perspective but my favorite thing is smoothie so uh smoothies are just super easy to digest they're like pre-digested for you and there you can just get so much nutrition. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, I use it. That's what I eat for breakfast every day. And that's what all my clients do. Uh, that's what pretty much everyone who follows me that, that kind of applies my nutritional principles because uh, it's super easy to digest. So normally you have to break down food, but you, when you blend it, it's already pre-digested, especially with the greens and the berries. Those have a lot of fiber. So those can those can be difficult to digest in the morning and that's why it's good to have them as a smoothie and then you can just make a very balanced meal quick on the go um, so that's what I, I usually recommend is like a first step uh, another really important thing that a lot of people are missing uh, drinking enough water so making sure that you drink a, a big glass of water in the morning uh, just start your day if you go straight to coffee I promise you that if you start with like 24 to 32 ounces of water uh, before coffee, you're, you're going to feel more energy uh, just from adding that water in the morning. So that's another really big one. So if you did your water and even if you're having coffee, if you are, uh, you know, one of those people that are drinking coffee, then you have your coffee and then you can have your smoothie as well, like right in that time and just have that liquid before, uh, like that's your first part of the day. Uh, so just a smoothie. Um, as far as like general guidelines, I'd say when you sit down to a meal, just make sure that at least 50% of it is vegetables. Um, so if you have a, no matter what you're eating, if half of your plate is vegetables, uh, you're going to be good. If you have digestive issues, you probably don't want to eat too many raw vegetables. Um, I can't I actually I don't want to go into too much detail about all that because I I work with a lot of people with a, a lot of specific issues so it's hard for me to give general recommendations but I'll stick there uh, just make sure that you're eating a lot of vegetables that's one of the best things you can do um, clearly like just getting away from the, the packaged foods and the processed foods uh, you know even even the brands that claim to be healthy and even the ones that you know are good where it's like oh it's only four ingredients and it really is only four ingredients like it is only four ingredients but it would be better to just eat uh eat banana you know um something real now that's great that's awesome advice um that's what i was looking for a little bit the the the, the general advice uh, of course as we mentioned before in the end um your clients it's going to be individual 
<laughs> sorry, individual. Uh, that's what you get when you're on vacation. Then you know you, you can't keep them away. Um, but anyway, you you, you can't say something in general for individual individuals you have to have their own nutrition plan it depends on completely that day how does it go when you wake up etc etc but the perfect yeah i loved it i wrote it down 50 percent vegetables and 20 to 24 ounces of water and a smoothie that sounds great a little bit later we're going to talk about the little ones because um i'd like to hear more uh, in that regards but 